the funds that Deutsche Bank have kindly agreed to contribute will be important in implementing the very best science to the treatment of patients in the UK straight away. So the next national clinical trial for acute myeloid leukemia, the national laboratory, will be in this building where we are today. It's the Weatherall Institute of Molecular Medicine. And we will be setting aside a dedicated lab, a purpose-built lab, to analyze patient samples from that clinical trial. And we'll be doing detailed genetic analysis to identify the type of tumor a patient has and how they're responding to treatment. We've piloted the work streams. We know that we can deliver them. And we will begin the work with cure leukemia in October, November this year. If we are to serve patients best, what we need is an integrated approach where the brilliance of science in terms of understanding what drives a disease is integrally linked to the testing of this wave of new treatments and their complementary approaches. You can liken it to a car crash where you've had a really violent car crash and there are people who are injured, gravely injured. And we as doctors and nurses and our teams, the healthcare professionals, will come to that car crash and we have to tend to the wounded, to the gravely ill. And that's what we do, for example, with leukemia. We're dealing with very sick people who are gravely ill through no fault of their own. That's quite a hard thing to treat. So looking further ahead into the future, it makes a lot of sense to try and prevent the car crash. We now are in a position to try and do that. And over the next 10 to 15 years, that's going to be a really important goal, actually preventing a clinically harmful cancer, a lethal cancer from taking hold in a patient. So we know, for example, that we could detect people at risk several years before they actually manifest a cancer. So we have a window of time where we can follow trajectory and we can identify those people who will inevitably end up with a lethal cancer. And we would then want to try and treat them at a time when the cancer is still small, at a time when not all the damage has occurred to that cell to make it a lethal cancer cell. And we hope that then those cells will be much easier to treat and remove. And this is, this is the future, isn't it? This is the future of this healthcare. Has got this to is be happening the now, and, it, and Deutsche Bank are involved in something it's that is the future. It's got to be the future, because especially for older people who we don't want to subject to very aggressive treatment, we would like to identify people at risk and try and find much more gentle treatments that will cause a lot less harm to the patient before they inevitably progress to that lethal cancer. This is a really exciting new area, and Deutsche Bank are going to be in right from the beginning. I want, before I retire, to be able to say that compared to today, where we, you and I, are sitting here today, it's unrecognizable. Wouldn't that be lovely? So that is what we have to do.